Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. So, yeah, all praises to Yahweh Shem Hashai for this, this wisdom, this knowledge, this truth, this understanding, man. And uh, we're going to bring out this little short epistle uh it's gonna be a response to the elder uh from baltimore i had it right here it says sakari and it says iuic and sakari unity it quit the question mark because it's all it's almost laughable bro um but not you know not really i mean that's the that's the way the story goes so i found myself before i turned on the camera you know a little fear set up on me man um yeah because uh you know asking you how about you to please take not that holy spirit away from us you know because as we see these these other guys they're going off man they're really going off and uh you're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play the little clip we got this little demon out here right now uh with this damn weed whacker shit going on so lord willing y'all can hear me everything should be okay because just just uh this uh you know live camp this weekend um you know the the theme was justified by faith and as we, we're gonna play this little clip y'all gonna see uh these guys have no faith man they have no faith and that's why you know when before i turned on the camera that, that you know just a couple of more precepts came on my mind yeah please take not the holy spirit away from me and also uh here ecclesiastes chapter in the apocrypha chapter 19 verse 18 the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, is the first step to be accepted of Him, and wisdom obtaineth His love. Okay, hold on, let me turn this on over here. Yeah, and wisdom obtaineth His love, bro. And I want to go get real quick before we get into the epistle, before we go to that video. Um. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge But fools bro Fools Despise wisdom and instruction Instruction You know the laws of life Coming back to the laws of the commandments You know and and uh, You know Being doers of the word not hears only Right Coming back to the laws of the commandments And actually applying them to our lives bro We're living these scriptures And hey if you, if you want to Yeah through the spirit Looking at yeah looking at them Looking at these Israelites, everybody's in their lot, and we're gonna get it in. The, we're gonna get it in the in the in the in, this, in the epistle, Lord willing. It's gonna come out smooth. You know, I feel a little. I don't know. I feel a little rushed or something right now. Slacky, bro. So let's just play the let's just play the little clip here, and I'm gonna put uh, the elders' epistle in the in the description box. Just click on the title of this epistle. I'm not sure what the title is gonna be at this time, and you it should. Drop down, you'll see it down there. I also reposted it, so it's on the Virgin Island GMS Virgin Island Straight Gate in the community. Okay, there's a lot of uh, brothers repost that I put in the in the community. You know, it goes to the community and on the uh, on everybody's channel. Everybody's channel has a community, and you can see their repost on it, bro. So just just check it out. It's afterwards what? Build dying house. Build your house. Hold on, bro. Hold on. See, because wait, 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 wait. wait. People are going. I see, want to start Israel, it again. We wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Salaki. I want to start it again so I can hear it on this side at the same time, okay? Because I can't hear it on this uh, when we're recording. It's afterwards what? Build dying house. Build your house. See, because people are going, see, Israel, we're not going to come together. Right? Israel ain't coming together. Israel ain't unified. Right? And what you don't realize, because you're so myopic, because your perception is so myopic, right? How much unity there is. There's unity in one cause. Work. One cause. 
We explore are you in unison with our UIC. In June, ain't no Michael Jackson. We at Zakari are you in unison with our UIC. Too much study, too much study has made you crazy, bug out. In June, ain't no Michael. Believe it or not, companies have already started microchipping employees. You know why? Because we both realize work, work. Work, work, Watchmen, House of Israel, Sons of Thunder, Light of Zion, all reprobates, unison. Why? Work. The prioritization of the work. Do the work. Work, 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 work. We don't have to stand next to each other. We don't have to all be at the same campsite in order for us to be in one mind. Notice he didn't say so GMS. Work. In order us to understand the goal in which we are trying to accomplish, right? Repentance, conversion, salvation. Because if we lead our people to repentance, we facilitate their conversion. That leads to our salvation. That leads to the manifestation of the return of Hamashiach Yahweh to this earth. Work is what it's going to take for that. Not, oh, I don't like you because you teach I can't have a hat on when I teach, but we teach that we can have a hat on. Right. And because we don't agree on that topic now, we're not united. You're an idiot if your perception is that myopic. Right. You're, you're, you're worse than that. You're infantile in the, 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 the comprehension level that you have in the faculties of your brain. And your, your, your cerebral cortex is underdeveloped if you think that that's what unity is. I raise you by Shimiao Shah Brother Throw Walk Water. That's not what unity has to be. We're united. What it has we're to united be. For, for this nation. That we understand that what we're doing is imperative to salvation and we prioritize it over everything. Every camp, though. Don't, 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 don't get this twisted, though. Every camp. Everybody that goes out to the streets is not doing that, though. Know that. Right? Know that. And it's more than the ones I just named. Don't get it twisted. I'm using that as an example. Right? But it's some of y'all, even camps, that are too busy watching and you're not doing any work. And you're being surpassed. You're being left in the stone age because you didn't build the house. Right. So now you're in the Stone Age, <laughs> right? Now you're living primitively because you didn't build. And that ain't nobody fault but your goddamn self reader. It says, and afterwards, build thine house. Uh -huh. Be not a witness against thy neighbor uh -huh. without cause. Right? They say what? Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause. Y'all don't even have a cause. It ain't even no cause, man. Damn, it going to work. Just go to work, man. Don't be sitting there talking about, you know, well, when they did this, why did they show up for Kyrie? Right. Uh, uh, you know, whatever the hell. I got to help you. Yeah, yeah why? Right. Listen, shut the hell up and go to work. Right? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shabba. Hey, man, I want to give a, a shout out to the. To the elder man in Baltimore, he be he be he be man, he be bringing it out. All praise to you, how about Shemasha? Through the spirit and the power, how about Shemasha? So as you can see, man, this guy's clearly going off. Oh man, I and I kept. Let's go on the let's go on the comment board right here. I kept. Uh, let me see. I kept posting scriptures on on the on the elders comment board. I was like, you know what, bro? Let me just do an epistle about it. Let me just do an epistle about it. See, he's talking about doing the work, but also at camp. You know, I, what I put it, I said, somebody got, somebody cut through the spirit, bro. This brother, you can see he's cut up. He is cut, 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 because they're going off. I uh, put Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh Shem Hashem, man. Right, through grace. Not of works, least any man should boast. Now, we're doing the work because we we love Yahweh Shem Hashem, and we, you know, the Lord, we are his instruments, you know. He is the father of spirits. Everybody's in their lot. He that is holy, let him be holy still. You know? Everybody's in their lot. Everybody's doing exactly what the Lord wants them to do. Man's going to the Lord. Um, oh, and then, of course, every man, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4, every man, prophes 
every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his own head. Now he hear the rebukes. He hear the word, but he do them not, bro. What? He do them not, bro. He do them not. There's some stiff neck Israelites. Um, and I wanted to put uh, the scripture how, you know, the word of Yahweh Shem is like a two-edged sword, you know. He's cut. He's cut up, bro. But I, I, that's when I said, let me just bring out, let me go, let me go do an, a, 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 pistol, a rebuke epistle on it, you know, um, or a lamb back or response to it. Because once again, you know, it's, it, it speaks for itself. They hear the word, but this is not their lot. It's not their lot, bro. Hold on. Come on, man. Don't be messing with me, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. Uh, I want to get... Um, let's get into the epistle. Lord willing, it's going to be edifying, short, straight to the point. I want to get something. Now, y'all try to keep in mind, try to remember... Uh, what the man said because all these scriptures are, are uh, is exactly what he's speaking about you know uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to correlate it with it uh, let me see where we're we gonna start at shoot let's just start from the top man um oh I know oh I okay I got it I got it I know where we're gonna start it let's start at uh, Proverbs chapter 29 real quick Proverbs chapter 29 verse 1 he that been often reproved hard in his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy right I wanted to, I wanted to bring that out because we are yet here again you know making an epistle about these guys and their so-called unity camps you know we're yet here again Speaking about, you know, these guys going off on doctrine, bro. Going off on doctrine, misleading the sheep, you know, as, as the false prophets that they are, you know. And telling them to repent, to come back to this, to, to Yahweh Hashem, to the 100% truth. And every time I see Sakari, bro, I can't help but to think about that video I ran across a long time ago. I made an, I made an epistle about it. Where, um, yeah, because Sakari is the poster child for... Let's go get him real quick so I'm speaking about it. Sakari is the poster child for 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. Uh, Cause he was, I remember this video I saw him coming up, you know, with this fringes coming up from the subway in, in I believe New York, uh, 34th Street, yeah, somewhere around that time. I believe, I believe that's where it was. But they, they shot a video, Sakari himself. It's called Sakari Meets the Elders Apostle Great Millstone, GMS Elders or something like that. And they, they got a video of them walking up the subway steps and coming around the corner and meeting the elder apostle Great Millstone, Apostle Tahar was there. And he said, man, he said, I learned from this motherfucker right here. I'll never forget that, bro. So he is the poster child for this scripture right here. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is, that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the land on the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy prophet may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and into the doctrine. Continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee right and you know he he, he he turned away from that bro he turned away from that my man let's go back to the Leviticus because I got it right here Leviticus you know uh, once again want to want to quote what we just had in uh, Proverbs chapter 29 verse 1 uh, he that been often reproved hard in his neck shall be destroyed that with him and that without remedy this is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him right and that's what these guys are doing bro these guys are clearly going off left and right my man okay um, I want to get this real quick Matthew chapter 5 verse 19 Matthew 5 19 Whosoever there shall for 
shall break one of these least commandments and teach shall teach men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven but whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven bro and and uh you know we're talking about the the, the laws of life okay but they're they're telling you you know on one hand he's saying don't rebuke me for what the word of Yahweh Shema Shah say but yeah you're being rebuked and you're teaching other men to do you know because you're you know the scripture tells us to to be an example to the believers to the flock you know but you're teaching people that it's okay to, to prophesy with your head covered the scripture clearly says you're going to dishonor your own head but you're doing this so therefore you're teaching people to do it go ahead and do that you know um iuic teaching people you know to call on a different name not yahweh bashim al shai right you you sakari themselves even spoke about not honoring your house shy you know you don't you don't really need him you know and as you can just see he's saying just do the work and you're gonna you're gonna make it and you're gonna make it and you're gonna make it bro just do the work you know hey we're gonna we're gonna wake up all, all israel just totally disregarding the word of yahweh shima shy bro over and over and over and over and that's why you know uh once that's why you know once again the water the water you have for this word of truth Please, Yahweh Shem Asha, don't you know take that Holy Spirit away from us, man. And and uh, of course, the elder from Baltimore for bringing out this 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 understanding right here. You know, making this epistle in the first place. Let's go to the book of First John. Once again, you know, calling out the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel from amongst those camps. You know, putting it out there. This is the book of First John, chapter two, verse fifteen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If any man love the world, hold on, bro. This thing giving me some trouble over here. Slocky man. Hold on, bro. I'm trying to get it. Such a pain. Okay. It says, Slocky. So love not the world. First John chapter two verse fifteen. That damn weedy over here getting on my nerves. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. We, we're talking about the, this This word is only for the 144, hopefully elected one third of Israel. We're, we're talking about coming back, being made separate and holy from all the all the crap in the world, all these other doctrines. You know, uh, uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 3 comes to mind. You know, they sung a new song and no man could learn that song but the 144 hopefully elected one third of Israel. They were not defiled with, with uh, these different philosophies, these other strange women. You know, because they are virgins. There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay? That's why you have Hashem Hashem said, Be ye holy for I am holy. Be separate. You know, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Um, be not unequally yoked with non-believers. These things, but they just, hey, they, they, they don't care about them. They don't care about the words of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. They on their own beat, bro. It's plain, and I want to make that point. Yahweh Shema Shah is making it plain that these guys are not of Yahweh Shema Shah, okay? And the world passes away and the lust thereof, right? Because they're doing it for the lust. Hold on, this damn stereo went off. Also, you know, Shabbat Shalom, bro. And the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Shema Shah abideth forever. This is the point we want to make right here. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. Right. They're against the word of truth, as you can see. You know, the words say, hey, Yahweh Shema Shah say, hey, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. They got long hair. Don't marry the corners of your beard. They, they marry the corners of the beard, you know. Over there, I U I C. You know, don't prophesy with your head covered. They got the head covered. When does it stop, bro? When does it stop, bro? When are you gonna be doers of the word, not hearers only? When are you gonna try to put on as the elect? When are you gonna uh, rehearse the righteous acts? You know, when, bro? They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us right bro but ye have an unction from the holy one and you know all things bro exactly man coming back 
with this Holy Spirit that you have Hashem Hashem, this gift of faith. You know, being doers of the word, not hears only. Prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, aka America, and warning the children of Israel to repent, to come to the understanding, come to the 100% truth. You know, become, come over here. You know, Lord willing, be washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth, man. You can't get washed and clean and baptized with the false doctrine or, or being tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, bro. There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. One baptism, you understand? This is the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. Matthew 12, 25. Yahweh Shad knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Right, and that's what that's what he's talking about over here. You know, as y'all heard, he's talking about building a house. You know, he's talking about... Um, They're working to build. Right. See, okay, you're building the house of Saul. <laughs> you know, we over here, Lord willing, the house of David has been built at the third temple. You see? You see it? You see it, bro? Come on, let's go. So every kingdom divided against itself. See, you're not there is it's you you can't have a unity camp with different doctrines. So the house, the, the house of David is being built over here. You know, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one understanding. Being on one accord. You see that you see the difference, bro? There's no division over here. But you guys are divided. If because if you weren't divided, you wouldn't be calling yourself Sakari and IUIC. You see that? You wouldn't be calling yourself Adam Abbott. You will all be one, you know, one unit. But you're divided. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Plain. Okay? This is the book of um, Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will like, like him unto a wise man which buildeth his house upon a rock. Okay, we're building our house on Yahweh Shai, the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, not going leaning on our own understanding, you know, or being tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, or going along to get along, you know, or trying to come against the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai by talking about the, we're building a nation, bro. No. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which buildeth his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock, bro. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, the, the five foolish virgins, which builded his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great... What's the fall of it? Right. You know, he that being often reproved, hard in his neck, shall be destroyed. That without remedy, bro. Proverbs 20. Verse 24. Proverbs 20, 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right. I want to just reiterate that once again, because um, these, th you know, are the, the way these guys are coming out, you know, you how about Shemashah letting it be known? Letting it be known, bro, that these guys are not for him. They're anti. They're against the word of Yahweh Shem Hashem. Plain. I want to go get this James, uh, James chapter three. I want to get it in the in the. In the uh, hold on, man. Is this thing recording? Yeah. Okay. I want to go get this James. Three, chapter three, verse one. My friends, not many of you should become teachers. Uh, you know, when you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again. You got to repent, man. Repent and be reborn. This is not about the, uh, no damn blackness and, and rebellion. Because you, you, even your name, Gorilla Hebrew. Ah, oh, Gorilla Hebrew. Rebellion. You know, Sakari. Ah, doing things my own way. IUIC. United in, in JC. You know what I'm talking about? 501c3s. Making the merchandise of the children of Israel. Once again. He's been often reproved hard in his neck, shall be destroyed that without remedy. And uh, if the blind lead the blind, they both gonna fall in that ditch. All these followers of them, hey, Yahweh Shem Hashem's already got it. They got, uh, let the table become a snare, a stumbling block. You can't see it, bro. And don't even let me bring about the MARK. It's, as the elder 
did in his little short, the, the little short uh, clip that he put together. It's June, you know. <sighs> Just so much division and false unity. Because that's not that's not your how about Shema Shah, bro. My friends, James chapter 3, verse 1 in the Good News Translation. My friends, not many of you should become teachers. As you know, we teachers will be judged with greater strictness than others. All of us often make mistakes. But if a person never make a mistake in what he says, he is perfect. And he is also able to control his whole being. Right, because you know, you want to come back, you want to be the oracles of Yahweh Shema Shah, not speaking your own words. But being justified by the words of Yahweh Shem Hashem, right? You know, this is what the Lord say. You know, this is what the Lord say. Period. You know, he's like, unity ought to mean some, some, some old crazy stuff, man. You guys going off? It says, we put a bit into the mouth of a horse to make it obey us, and we are able to make it go where we want or think of a ship, big as it is. Even driven by such strong winds, it can be steered by a very small rudder, and it goes wherever the pilot wants it to go. So it is the so so it is with the tongue. Okay, so it is with the tongue. Small as it is, it can boast about great things. We're gonna build a nation. No, what the what the scriptures say? Uh, if this be a man, it's gonna come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh Shemashah, you cannot overthrow it, bro. And that's what they're doing. They're they're trying to uh, they're doing they're leaning on their own understanding. They're trying to do things their own way. You know, it's gonna come to naught, my man. Because there's only one way. The Yahweh Shemashah said, "He that coming up some other way is a thief and a robber." And we just simply point out the point out the truth, the facts, man. That they're uh, they're not of Yahweh Shemashah, bro. The scripture even tells you many, well, many will say to me in that day Lord, Lord, have not prophesied in thy name You come say, I never knew you Ye that work iniquity Iniquity is sin upon sin upon sin so, so, so when someone's correcting you Trying not to suffer sin upon you By giving you a rebuke About wearing your hats while you're prophesying You know Or having long hair You know, just simple things like that What the Sabbath day really is You know, the, the being in the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai not leaning on your own understanding Not being proud Not handling the word of the Lord deceitfully Not making merchandise of the children of Israel Not making the covenant with the heathen On and on and on and on You continue to add sin upon sin That's You just continue You, you continue to going off You know but, the, but how about Shema Shah say uh, Offend less You know in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 17 verse 24 You know You know re re Return to the how about Shema Shah And forsake thy sins Make thy prayer before his face And offend less Less, bro. You just try, trying, but nope. Once again, everybody's in their life, bro. That's why, you know, it made me, you know, meditate before I turned on the camera. You know, said the prayer. Yeah, how about Shema Please don't take that Holy Spirit away from me because we see how it is. They're blinded, bro. They're blinded, my man. Come on. Or think of a ship, big as it is, driven by such strong winds, it can be steered by a very small rudder. And it goes wherever the pilot wants it to go. So it is with the tongue. Small as it is, it can boast about great things. Just think how large a forest can be set on can be set on fire by a tiny flame. And the tongue is like a fire. It is a world of wrong, occupying its place in our bodies and spreading evil through our whole being. It sets on fire the entire course of our existence with the fire that comes to it from hell, from hell itself. We humans are able to tame and have tamed all other creatures, wild animals and birds, reptiles and fish, but no one has ever been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full of deadly poison. We use it to give thanks to our Lord and Father and also to curse other people. Who are created in the likeness of Yahweh Shemashah? Words of thanksgiving and cursing pour out from the same mouth. My friends, this should not happen. No spring of water pours out sweet water and bitter water from the same opening. A fig tree, my friend, cannot bear, bear olives. A, a grapevine cannot bear figs, nor can a salty spring produce sweet water. Right, just like the scriptures say, you know, you will, you will know them by their fruits. Okay, 
You would know them by their fruits, bro. So that was the James, that was James chapter three verse one. Go check it out if you want to, because this you know if, if any man once again if man, any man should speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh Shemashah to be justified by the words of the Lord, bro. Not your own vain opinion or lean, doing what you want to do. This is the book of James chapter seventeen verse nine. The heart is deceitful above all the mind, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Right, your your, your mind is deceitful. It's desperately wicked. We all got these demons telling us, "Hey, you can do that. You can do that. You can do that." This is the book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse one. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days, you know, and long life and peace shall they shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and this that mercy and truth right here. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. This is the time to return, to come back to Yahweh Shemashah. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh Shemashah and man. It says, Trust in the Lord Yahweh Shemashah with all thine heart and lean not, not on thy own understanding, bro. The heart is deceitful above all. Who can know it, my man? In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, bro. It's plain, man. Did the Lord say that the whole nation of Israel gonna gonna wake up in these last days? No. He said only a remnant shall return, bro. This is the book of Ezekiel. You know, because uh, I want to go get the scripture while we, while we got on, on that point. Daniel. Daniel. Chapter 12, verse 2. It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Okay, so you got to wake up to know your Israelites. But some to everlasting life. And some to everlasting shame. Some to shame and everlasting contempt, bro. Okay? And then we jump down to verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Once again, those five five foolish versions and the five wise versions. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand that 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 uh you know, good versus evil, bro. Ezekiel. Chapter 11, verse 6. Uh, well, hold on, bro. Let me see. What is this? Ezekiel? Okay. Uh, hold on, bro. I'm looking for a small sanctuary. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go get it. I want to get this real quick. Okay. Okay. So like Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 16. Therefore say, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be unto them a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right? A very small sanctuary, man. A small number. Not a whole nation of, of Israelites marching all up and down the street. You know, he even mentioned that about uh, going to the Barclay Center. You know, you know, but the Habba Shemashah said, hey, go out there and give them warning from me. You know, but you're of the world. You know, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smoked them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, the Holy One of Israel. In what? In truth. There's only one way, one understanding, one gospel. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay? You know, the scripture speaks about uh, the hour coming now is when the true worshiper shall worship Yahweh Shemashah in spirit and in truth, bro. Verse 21. The remnant of Israel shall return. Even the mighty Salaki. The remnant of Israel. Salaki, man. I'm, I'm, I am Russian. Salaki, bro. You know, that plantation and everything. And um, I don't know. It's just a this epistle here. You know, it's plain to the holy, but there's stumbling blocks to the wicked, really, you know. And just want to be thankful for this truth, you know, and uh, just bring it out, man. Um, and uh, the Spirit is on me to go, you know, Lord willing, you know, to go uh, in, you know, more prophecy as well. Because the, the, the word is out that these guys are going off, man. You know, we, you know, if the Spirit come back, we'll just come, con continue to come back as, it, as, if, as the Spirit moves. You know, come back and rebuke these guys and... We're going to get more, Lord willing, into more prophecy, you know, about these, about World War Three and these, these plagues that happen upon the earth, you know, 
The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty Yahweh Shemashah. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Yeah, this this time, man. You know, um, Yahweh Shemashah say, hey, cover the prophesy. So we want to be talking about this is prophecy right here that these guys are going off as well. This is prophecy that. You know, the remnant's going to return. You're still going to have a lot of Israelites, stiff-necked Israelites out here doing what they want to do, as we see. Uh, we're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse nine, five, verse 29. And that lets us know, man, that Lord willing, you know, we are, you know, you know, we are of Yahweh Shemashah, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Because we see it clearly. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And these guys clearly... Don't see that. As you can see, they're trying to trying to make a unity camp from different doctrines. And that's clearly going off. And as the elder pointed out in his epistle, like the Christian church, you know, the uh, this Christian baptism, they got so many different doctrines and denominations, you know, going off. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 29. And if the right eye offend thee, pluck it out. Let me turn this music off for a second, man. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. Right. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. Right. Because, you know, you, you don't suffer sin upon your brother, man, and you don't, you know, you have no fruits. Have no fruit with with uh, unworks of darkness. Let me let's go get that scripture. I know I messed it up. I messed it up. So that's why we're gonna go get it. Have no no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Exactly. That's perfect. This is a beautiful scripture right here, man. Ephesians chapter five, verse eleven. Look, let's, let's start at verse um, 5, verse 10. Proven what is acceptable unto Yahweh Shemashah. Right. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. What's the, what's the will of Yahweh Shemashah? You know, be ye conformed, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, understanding the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, and put and applying it to your life. You know, the Lord don't like this. The Lord don't want us to do this. This is what the Lord say do, and do it. Proven what is acceptable unto Yahweh Shemashah, and having no fellowship, with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Okay? Reprove them, bro. Okay? Yeah. Hey, uh, coming around here with that with that madness. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse. So, like in Romans chapter 16, verse 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them that cause division and offenses contrary to the what? To the doctrine, which ye have learned, and avoid them. Right, exactly. Don't try to make a, a unity camp with them, because you're going off. Matthew, chapter 23, verse 24. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make that point too, man. Uh, it's like, but that's your, that's, your, that's, your, that's the spirit and the power of your Habashim HaShah. That's, that's the power of the Lord, bro. He's got these guys actually coming up with this title and everything. He might as well put a sign on his back saying, kick me. He says, ye blind guides, which stranded the gnat and swallow a camel. One to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you make clean the outside of the cup and platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. You know, the, thou blind Pharisees, clean first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Okay? Yeah, man. You know, it's just simple ABC, ABC, ABC. Trust in Yahweh Shemashah with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding. Uh, first, we're going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. And we're about to close it out, man. And hopefully it wasn't too long. It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh Shemashah standing sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shemashah depart from iniquity. Once again, which is sin upon sin upon sin, upon sin, upon sin, upon sin, upon sin. And that's what we were speaking about earlier. 
you know, uh, when we brought out that that Ecclesiastic kiss, uh, you know, repent to Yahweh Shemasha and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. You know, but these guys, are, the scripture tells us, be not, uh, you know, don't be afraid, you know, to add sin to sin to sin. But you, you continue to come out, you know, just making a quick reference. You know, the doctrine, of course, you're going off on doctrine. But, you know, you're, you're out there debating and all this stuff. Just going off left and right. You, you refuse to take the damn head off, you know. What it man? Hey, Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting to the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, telling them to repent to the one true living God. You know, stop watching all them damn other Israelite camps, man. That's going off. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, man. One doctrine started, brought to you by the elder apostle, Great Millstone, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashai, and all the brothers on down that umbrella, man. Plain is plain is plain. Once again, hopefully, this was edifying and exhorting, bro. So. uh Y'all go watch this, watch it, watch the elders' video, okay? I was shy about it's very good, bro. It's very good. So with that, you know, with that, with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash. Want to give double honors to the elders, Apostle Great Millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who is pushing this word in all truth and sincerity and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we go. Shalom. That's what it was, man. That goddamn fucking damn loud ass noise in my ear, man. Making you get all... No wonder I'm feeling all funny. Hell. Damn. It's, it's going to be okay, bro. Shalom.